some phthalo blue here, which is just acrylic phthalo blue. I've got some um, orange, again, acrylic orange, because um, I want some real punchy colors. So that's the main reason I'm using those. And I've got some alizarin. And the rest I'll try and do with the um, with watercolor and ink as we've just been doing it. So these are probably going to come in right at the very end. All right, I'm not going to use those probably till um, until I really need them. So I might need to cut back in, or I might need to add some some stronger bits of color. So that's where they're going to come in. Um, and before I do any of that, I need to find some brushes to use with them. So let me just get my acrylic brushes out. Right. So I think we're um, ready when you are. Um, So are we all ready to get started? Yes. Yeah. I've got to leave you. Okay. All right, Marianne. No worries. I've got to get my hair cut before lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good stuff. All right. Well, um, we'll see you next week then, Marianne. Take care. Okay. So let's um, let's make a start on our hummingbird then, shall we? So um, I'm going to do a quick drawing first of all, uh, just to establish the main shape of the of the bird. I'm going to do it, um, it's kind of square, so it doesn't really matter whether you do it landscape or portrait, because you might want to cut it off anyway. I'm going to do it landscape, but just sort of keep it in the middle of the, um, the board. So his, his beak is going to start somewhere about there, it kind of comes back. And then you've got the head that's coming up, sort of a squarish type head. Kind of comes back on itself. The body's not really that pronounced, so there's a little triangly type shape where the beak comes in. Then we're coming down into the chest and away, and then the wing. So there's a sort of whiter patch across his neck. There's some fungus in there. That sort of comes down, and then we're into the wing, sort of there, and that comes out. In the tray there. So that's coming out to there, and then we've got the other wing coming as an L shape, kind of out here somewhere. <clears throat> and this sort of scoops back down, and then the tail. Is down there, okay. And then the beak kind of comes slightly uphill and then it tips down on the end. Yeah. And then we kind of come back on ourselves only slightly. Well. Let's check forehead, lose a little bit of the forehead. There we go, okay, and then we've got the eye kind of lining up with the side of the head. Oh, the eye is sort of here somewhere. Might have to move it, but it's in there somewhere. Okay, so I'll give you a few minutes just to do your drawing. Um, just to get the basic basic shape in while I finesse this a little bit. So we've got this sort of zigzaggy thing going across the chest. The wing coming out from there. Coming down. So sort of there, the other wing is out there. <clears throat> okay. Right. So 
I'm just cutting in around the bird itself, just with some clean water. And this really is just to um, help me um, get this initial initial wash on without it drying out too much. So let's just do that coming down. And then we're not really too bothered about where it goes down there. Okay, so taking my blue, let's just knock out some of those big puddles of water. Don't want that too strong there. So taking my blue, I'm just going to start to drop this on. And obviously, because we've wet the wet the bird already, the paint should start to creep down into those areas. So let's just tease that down a bit. So coming down around the beak. So nice and strong around the head. Into the wing. Let's just get rid of this big puddle of water there. Coming down. All the way through the chest. Down the tail. Soak that up a little bit. It's a bit too heavy there. Okay, so that's filled up that nicely. Now, before that starts to dry, I need to get some other colours on the go. Clean that brush off. So now I'm going to take some um, some purple, fairly neat purple. <coughs> And I'm going to start to work that in. Again, I'm going to wet a little bit. So it's the wing area now we're looking at. It's got some glue on that brush, but never mind. So let's start to drop in my purples. Let that creep out to the background colour. I'm going to use some water just to temper that now. So there's just a little bit of moisture in this brush just so I can shape up some of these colours. Just soften this top edge just a little bit. Just to get that to start to go out. Oh, that's too much blue. Never mind. We're going to have a blue bit in the wing there now. Just going to soften off all that wing. more purple. Stuart, Stuart, did you did you wet the body? I missed that. No, this is all dry. Oh, so okay. Thank you. Yep, so the body is well only only that bit of the wing I, I, I put a little bit of water in there. But the rest okay. Of it, 
So I'm just using a combination of a bit of water and a bit of paint just to do keep these wings fairly soft. Um, not too much water, obviously, because we don't want it to don't want it to all cauliflower, but I want them to just bleed into the background. That's ideally what we're after. Bleed those two together, those two shapes. Now then, I'll take a bit of bit of red, bit of red and orange, and this probably will get a bit dirty, but um, it's fine. I'm going to have to clean up, clean it up anyway afterwards, probably with some of the acrylic. Just want to lose this edge, that edge there, and also down here of the where the blue is coming in. Let's just mix those together. We've got a nice hair there. Never mind. A bit more purple. Finish this wing off. Continue that purple down. Touch longer. Perhaps we'll bring that down to say where we think the the tail is. Okay. It's a few slightly stronger marks. bit more water just to keep it soft. So as soft as we can along this edge, just with a damp brush, that's all I'm using here. Might even try lifting a little bit of that out, just there. Okay, so now moving down, let's soften off this edge. Don't want it too hard there. Okay, and a bit more bluey purple. So coming into the chest area. A bit stronger color here. We're going into an existing area. Stronger again, a bit more purple. Just to give that edge of the wing a little bit more strength. Then just with water now, just gonna soften all of this off. I'm actually gonna tilt the board slightly away from me because I don't want the paint to run too strongly downwards. So just with some water, I'm just gonna soften all this off. Just give me a, a very soft sort of gray, gray blue color. A little bit more blue. And also because it's a lot more moisture in this piece of paint, I don't I don't mind a cauliflower on that edge because it'll it'll be a bit more feathery, but I don't want it to go too much further than that. Otherwise it'll um it'll just oops that's too much blue. <clears throat> Just work that in, just with some water. So we're very light now on this edge. So I'm just gonna use some clean water just to tidy that up. And then we're coming up into our um, redder area. 
we're just dipping into some red and some burnt sienna. And mixing those two colours together. Put this on reasonably dry and then I will just manipulate it with some water. Put a little patch on and then we'll move it around. So just take a bit of water onto the brush and just eke that to where I want it. So it comes up and under the beak. Fortunately, this is going to cauliflower along that edge, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Um, <laughs> The trouble of trying to do this all in one go. Let's just work this edge, keep that soft. So a bit more color into there. And under the beak. And then we're coming over towards where the eye is now. So I'm going to use a bit of water just to pull this existing color out. Uh, all the way across. So trying to use the, um, the paint that's already there rather than add new paint at the moment. So this is just the water that's making these marks. So let's keep the back of his head nice and soft. I should quite like that little bit of light on the back of this head. Let's try and keep that. We'll soften off this edge. Then we've got the, the beak line. Let's just tickle some colour along that edge. Okay, now stronger blue to the top of the head, kind of a turquoise. I'll put this in reasonably dry. Also have a little bit of that just under the beak. Just to help the show up. <clears throat> Let's work that in. Just cleaning my brush off. So I just need to soften that off now. Using some water. Going to bring that up the head over the top. Into that existing colour. It's possibly a little bit too strong. <laughs> Lift some of that out. Okay, now a little bit more orange. So we can strengthen this up a bit more. <laughs> I'll work that down into the existing area. Bring it out a bit further and we can start to look to get the eye in then. <coughs> I'm 
Maybe there's a bit more orangey in there. Shake that up a little bit. Okay, now get the back of the head in. So let's just tease this out, keeping it soft. off. Okay, let's drop a bit of colour into the eye. Uh, let's use a smaller brush. Start off with a bit of um, blacky purple type colour. I'm going to take some water and just tilt it towards me a little bit. Fact, I might dry it there. I don't want to bleed in there. Let's just give it a quick dry. Okay, so now then let's try and get a little bit of the eye in. Use a smaller brush, a bit of water. Just going to draw a sort of a circular piece of water where roughly the eye is going to go. Keep it rounded. Take a bit of that blacky purple colour. And I'm going to drop that into that area. Just try and keep it roughly the shape that we want it. Okay, we'll let that do whatever it's going to do. Now, I'm going to go back and put a bit more colour now. In fact, what I might do is try a bit of the acrylic. Just want to see what this is going to do. Add a bit more strength. So let's take some orange. Just neat orange. Just going to lay some some strong orangey marks. Over the top. And even perhaps break out a little bit into the background. Similarly down here in the tail, we need to do that. So we can lay in some nice strong bits of color. <laughs> let those just percolate out into the background which will also help me lose that line which I don't really want okay and then let's take some stronger red 
it's all crimson. Clean that brush off. We're taking some of the red. So I can now use this as my darker color. It over the top of the, um, the existing watercolor to bring some nice strong darks. It's going to come back. And then we've got some darker bits under the eye. Can actually bring a little bit of that along the beak. Into the wing. Perhaps a nice quick mark to suggest the um, wing beating. There. Some more red marks coming down into the tail. Okay. And let's get some of the orange as well so we can lighten that red a little bit. Probably should mix this, but being a bit lazy, let's do it on there. Bit of orange, bit of red. Just to give me a lighter, slightly lighter color I can use. Coming into the beak. down the front. Could bring some of that into his wing. Got some marks of that coming out. Under the body a little bit. <clears throat> Go a bit lighter again, a bit more orange. I've got a leaf, Stu, all right? Yeah, okay. See Enjoy you next Bampton. week. Yeah, yeah bye. 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 <clears throat> bye. Bye. Going a bit lighter. As you come around the form. How are we doing for time, by the way? What is the time? 24 minutes, 24 past. minutes past. Oh, is it? All right, okay. Time's cracking on then. Yeah. So a little bit of that into the forehead. A bit more orange. Just need to detail out the eye a bit more. Okay, we'll leave that alone. Let's get in the eye again. Oh, it's wrong with the lid. So, into the eye again. Let's use watercolour for that. So back into the blacky purple colour. So hopefully it's a bit drier now. I'm going to drop some more dark into here. Make sure it's big enough. And then just a little bit of a uh, little bit of water. Just around the edge of the eye, because obviously it's a bit too white at the moment. 
just gray that upper touch. Just in there. And then I need to give that a quick blast of the hair dryer. And then we can put a bit of lighter colour on there now. Uh, in fact, I want to put a bit more blue into his plumage. I can find a clean brush, all my brushes are filthy now. Just a little bit more of the background colour, I'm just going to bring that into his chest just to darken his chest up a bit more. It's a bit too light. So let's work some of this in. <clears throat> we'll bring some of that up into this area and on the beak. Mm. Back of the head. Maybe a little bit down in the body, tail. Okay. Just soften that off a bit. And then maybe the last thing is I will use a little bit of white. I can find the white. Um, let's use watercolor white, I think. Uh, if I can find it, there it is. Brush. Uh, brush. <coughs> Just going to put some slightly stronger highlights into his back. And then we've got a white a bit around the eye. Give me a little highlight in the eye. The odd dash here, here and there in the wing. Just a bit more movement. Okay, 